I'm making my bacon wrapped meatloaves, which are juicy and flavorful, and they just taste better because they're miniature. To start, I'm tearing up two slices of bread, which will help bind my mixture together. And I'm using rye bread because I love the slightly bitter notes from the caraway. It'll just add more dimension to the meatloaf. And I'll drizzle over a third of a cup of milk, and the bread is gonna absorb that and turn into that glue that's gonna hold the meatloaf together. And I'll chop up half an onion. Nick loves meatloaf, and I'm really excited about this one because it's miniature. And I'll toss this right into my bowl. A good handful of fresh parsley. Just let some nice freshness and be pretty and speckly green throughout the meat. I'll toss this in. I'll grab an egg and my meat. I'll crack my egg in, and I'll give this a beat. And then I'll dump in my meat. It's a mixture of beef and pork, just for extra fattiness and flavor. In you go. And while this is still spread out like this, I'm gonna season evenly over the surface of the meat, and that just gives the seasoning a jump start on getting evenly incorporated. So one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, some black pepper, a teaspoon of mustard powder, and mustard and rye bread go hand in hand for sure. A half a teaspoon of ground caraway will enhance the caraway seeds from the rye bread. It's so nice and woodsy. Half a teaspoon of ground coriander. It'll give some nice citrusy notes. That's it for the mixture. I'm gonna get in here with my hands and mix it up until it's just combined. And I wanna be careful not to overmix. My mixture is combined. I'll divide it into six equal parts now and then I'll just roll it into a ball. And then I'll get a piece of bacon. And that is gonna lend more fat, richness. Nothing bad is going to come of wrapping these in bacon. Just like that. And now I'll keep on rolling up my balls, covering them in bacon, and then put my glaze together. Every meatloaf needs a glaze, and this one is sweet and savory and so good. I'll start with two tablespoons of ketchup a little steak sauce, some Dijon mustard for zing, and molasses -y brown sugar. And the brown sugar is gonna caramelize and make the tops of the meatloaves nice and shiny. I'll mix this up. And then I'll brush this all over the meatloaves. Another advantage to having miniature meatloaves like this is that you get more crust. And the bacon is gonna add to that crusty crispiness too. Okay. I'm gonna bake them at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. I'll increase the temperature to 425, give them another layer of that sauce, and then stick them back in for another 20 minutes until they're deeply browned. They're gonna be juicy and delicious. I am smelling the bacon on those meatloaves. <gasps> those look awesome. Mm. I feel like I just need a moment to smell them. I'm gonna transfer them to a plate now. These look so great. Their sticky caramelized shell works. The sauce did its job. 